Okay, class, today we're in section 7.5, part 3. 7.5, part 3. Translate between recursive and explicit rules for sequences. Your goal, translate between recursive and explicit rules for arithmetic and geometric sequences. The box below summarizes the recursive and explicit rules for arithmetic sequences with common differences D and for geometric sequences with common ratio R. Okay, let's get the key concept in our notes. Sequence formulas. Recursive formula for arithmetic. A sub n is equal to A sub n minus 1 plus D. The explicit formula, formula for arithmetic. A sub n is equal to A sub 1 plus n minus 1 times D. For geometric, the recursive formula is A sub n is equal to R times A sub n minus 1. And the explicit formula is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r to the n minus 1. So what they're going to have us doing today is pretty simple in theory. That is, they're going to give us a formula that's a re, uh, recursive, and then we've got to convert it to explicit. Or they're going to give us a formula that's explicit, and then we have to convert it to recursive. Same thing with geometric. If they give us recursive, we got to convert it to explicit. If they give us explicit, we got to convert it to recursive. Okay, they're going to give us a real simple rules to follow by. To translate from an explicit rule to a recursive rule for an arithmetic sequence, all you got to do is find the first term, A1, and the common difference, D. To translate from an explicit rule to a recursive rule for a geometric sequence, find a sub 1, which is your first term, and the common ratio r. Write a recursive rule for the sequence. So in other words, this is explicit. Write a recursive rule for the sequence. Solution. A. Write the explicit rule. a sub n is equal to negative 6 plus 8n. Substitute 1 for n. So in other words, find the first term. Substitute 1 for n. So, n becomes 1, so a sub 1 is equal to a negative 6 plus 8 times n, which is 1. 8 times 1 is 8, a negative 6 plus 8 is equal to 2. Alright, so then we found that our a1 term is 2. Now it tells us the coefficient of n is d, the common difference. So we go back up here, we look at 8 times n. The coefficient is 8. That means that our common difference is 8. The coefficient of n is 8. The coefficient of n is d, and 8 is d. So d is equal to 8. Now we can write our recursive rule based on our formula. a sub 1 is equal to 2, comma, a sub n is equal to a sub n minus 1 plus 8. We finished that particular problem. So in other words, we just went from an explicit rule to a recursive rule. Explicit to recursive. Okay, now in example B, we're dealing with the explicit rule for a geometric function. A sub n is equal to a negative 3 times 1 half to the n minus 1. Substitute 1 for n. In other words, find the first value. So a sub 1 is equal to a negative 3 times 1 half to the 0 power, which is equal to a negative 3. All right? Don't forget, that became a 1 right there. What's 1 minus 1? 0. What is 1 half to the 0 power? 1. What's negative 3 times 1? Negative 3. And we can see right here that our common ratio is 1 half. So now we can write the recursive rule. a sub 1 is equal to a negative 3, comma, a sub n is equal to 1 half times a to the n minus 1. To translate from a recursive rule to an explicit rule for an arithmetic sequence, find the common difference, d. To translate from a recursive rule to an explicit rule for a geometric sequence, find the common ratio, r. 
Example two, translate from a recursive rule to an explicit rule. A, a sub one is equal to a negative five. A sub n is equal to a sub n minus one minus two. Solution, write the recursive rule. So we just rewrite what we got up here. The number added or subtracted is d. That's the negative two. So the common difference is negative two. Substitute negative five for a one and negative two for d. So a sub n equals negative five, that was our first term, plus n minus one times a negative two, which is our common difference. All right, so you can see we're going to end up with a sub n is equal to a negative 3 minus 2n. Now, all our math was done right here. Now, for those of us who can't see that, let's take a good look. a sub n is equal to a negative 5 plus n minus 1 times a negative 2. I must distribute this negative 2. So, a negative 2 times n is a negative 2n. A negative 2 times a negative 1 is a positive 2. All right, so now I have negative 5 minus 2n plus 2. Now I'm going to add my like terms. A negative 5 plus 2 is going to give me a negative 3. And I bring the negative 2n down. And so now we have my answer. Okay, B. A sub 1 is equal to 10. A sub n is equal to 2 times a sub n minus 1. That's our recursive rule. Okay, we got to go from recursive to explicit. All right, now, the coefficient of a sub n minus 1 is r. The, co the coefficient of a sub n minus 1 is r. So here we are right here, a sub n minus 1, and the coefficient is 2. So in this case, r is 2. That's our common ratio. Now we substitute 10 for a1 and 2 for r to write the explicit rule. So a sub n is equal to 10, don't forget now, that was our initial value, is equal to 10 times 2 raised to the n minus 1. After doing that, we are finished. Okay, let's complete problems 1 through 12, and let's do all of those. Problem 1 through 12, let's do all of those. All right, thanks.